Hi everyone. In this video today, I'm going to be making this wine bottle on the left with this beautiful napkin that I got at Dollar Tree, some Mod Podge paint, and some paint brushes. I'm going to start out by painting this clear bottle blue, but you could use any color bottle. I used just an acrylic paint and you will need two coats. You could use chalk paint too, that would be fine. Chalk paint does dry a little quicker, but I had the acrylic paint on hand. After my two coats were applied and dried, I took my Mod Podge and I thinned it with water about 50-50 so it would stay wet for this application. I wanted to do a little bit different painting application over this blue paint with white paint and it gives it a little bit of a crackle effect. If the Mod Podge is thin and wet when you put the white paint on and dry it with a hair dryer, and you'll see, I'll show you this. You just have to get a nice wet layer of this Mod Podge on. Then I just took white chalk paint. You could use acrylic paint if you wanted. And as I turn the bottle over, you'll see I just did little swipes with the white paint. And I tried to put it on fairly quickly so I could dry it with the dryer on a high heat. It gives it kind of a crackly effect. I took this all the way to the top of the bottle though I wasn't 100% sure I wanted to keep it that way. You know, things change as you go along. Now I just used a regular hair dryer on a higher setting and dried it really well and my camera didn't pick it up really well so you could see that there was white paint was crackling it's just kind of splitting and letting some of the blue show through You can kind of see it there, but I think the acrylic paint ends up crackling a little bit nicer than the chalk paint does. So on to my napkin portion. I always like to wet my brush a little bit before I place it in the Mod Podge. I think it makes the bristles just softer and it goes on smoother. Now I'm applying the napkin all the way around this bottle and I like to do it in little sections so I can smooth the napkin as I go along. 
And the best way I've found to smooth a napkin and not rip it is to use a little wadded up piece of saran wrap. It works great. For the least amount of wrinkling, the best thing you can do is just do small sections at a time. I do about an inch, an inch and a half um, per space. And this napkin is just beautiful. Now, a portion of this was missed due to video error, but I decided the white and blue at the top of the bottle just took away from the picture itself on the napkin, so I wrapped it in twine. The whole top of the bottle I just wrapped in twine, which I thought gave it a nice finished look, but it didn't take away from the picture on the bottom portion. And then I left it at that. I didn't add any bling or anything with the napkin being so beautiful. I just didn't think it needed it. And there you have it.